There is constantly music in our house, and pretty much at any time of day, you can walk through any room of the house, and there will be music playing. Some of it is very uh, pleasant to the ears, and some not so much. <laughs> I want to be like Jesse when I grow up. When Jada's playing fiddle, it sounds like a whole bunch of dying cats. <laughs> <laughs> When I play the fiddle, it sounds really sweet. And when Jessica plays it, it sounds really sweet, too. No, it doesn't. So you don't like Jessica playing? No, I don't like yours. Before learning is becomes a formal, organized thing, it's always spontaneous. In our family, there's tons of impromptu lessons that happen all the time. Hey, Jesse. Yes, Libby. Can you teach me some stuff on the fiddle? <laughs> Let me see your fiddle. Jada come, has come to me now multiple times with a destroyed fiddle in her hands. It looks like it needs to go to the hospital first. There's a certain amount of risk with little kids in the house with having instruments that you allow them to touch. They are not allowed to touch the instruments that we perform with. What's wrong? Look at that. There's only one, two, three. But we do have, um, we call them baby instruments or, or kid instruments. I like that you want to learn. Maybe they're hand-me-downs, or they're smaller sizes, or they're a little less expensive. And the fiddles really get a beating from the little kids. This one is also missing two strings. Well, between, yeah. between the two fiddles, we have the four different strings. Now we just need to get four strings on one of them. Jada, why do we put rosin on our bows? Because the bows make no sound. They have no rosin on them. Good point. When she was really little, I'm pretty sure it was her might have been Jager. But one of them had the bow and they were just going with the hair. And I was like, stop! First of all, gross. Second of all, you're ruining the bow. <laughs> Good. Now don't curve your hand. Pull it out straight. Good girl. She Thank loves you know. playing on that thing. And so I just, I try and like find that, that delicate, beautiful like balance of like, what is something I can actually teach her that she could probably do and that she'll want to do for more than five seconds? Just a little bit more, then I'll leave you alone. You wanted to practice. She's got plenty of time. She's got her whole life ahead of her. Give me five. You gonna learn to play fiddle? You gonna play on stage? Sounds good to me. Don't ever use the fiddle to stand up like a crutch, please. <laughs>